Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to see how to create sub report and link to other reports in Crystal Report. We are basically using Crystal Report 8.5 and uh, we will create here two report. First we will create a sub report called Employee Detail Sub Report, uh, which will <coughs> the report will be created uh, based on a table known as employee underscore details and effective date employee rate HRAMT and convenience AMT will be the respective field and uh, later on we will create another report uh, which will be based on a table employee underscore master and which will contain employee underscore imp underscore code and imp underscore name so uh, uh, that, uh, we will link this uh, two report by uh, one field which is known as imp underscore id here it is imp underscore id and this will be the link uh, by which we will link this main report to the sub report so let's uh, move to our crystal report uh, first we will create the uh, sub report uh, we will just go to the new choose a blank report I've already created the database connection. It is uh, connected with act active, active data object, uh, connecting to SQL Server 2000, and it is a DOD audio, audio, audio connection. So I'll just add and select the table employee underscore details here. Uh, let's I'm not writing any SQL query, I'm just taking the table and selecting all the columns. So, so we have selected and now we will just take the respective field as we have told you. This is the effective date. I am not concerned with any of formatting or anything. I just want to show you the functioning. Uh, HRAMT and convince. So these are the four fields. Uh, uh, if you have any uh, doubt, uh, I just do a little formatting, say, I'll remove the underline and make it bold. So the, this is my sub report. So we just give it a name in play underscore details. So it is saved. Now we will just go and create our main report. Again, the blank report. Okay. The collection is same. Add employee underscore master. Okay. So here we will take employee code. employee name just give a little space make it make the employee name with a little, small, little bit smaller so now we will create our sub report so what you need to do suppose you want to uh, you want to insert the sub report in this detail block in this detail section so first you go to insert and select sub report uh, create new sub report no i have already created a sub report you can also create new sub report but i am choosing a report choose a creating a sub report is same just uh, uh, select create a sub report with the report and of the name of the report crystal report will automatically create a new sub report a new report where you will do the same thing as i have done in my previous report which i have been created so I'll be browsing and in underscore DETL. I've selected it now. You go to the link tab. Here you need to uh, link the column which you which you which you are linking. So in my table, in underscore ID is the primary key and employee underscore master, and the reference key and employee underscore detail. So I'm taking that field and just selecting it. See, it's it's, it's automatically automatically selected. Sub so report parameter field to use this one. I select data in sub report in underscore ID. <coughs> so just click OK. 
now it will give you the choice where to place this sub report so i will place it in the detail section because each of this uh, uh, record which is linked to the main report sub report record equal linked to the main report is belongs to this details section so i put it in the details section <coughs> done now i will execute refresh the report so it will take some time we'll come back after it's in finish okay we are back again now see all the sub reports <coughs> all the details all the records which employee which belongs to employee master is linked with this employee details record linked with the imp underscore id key see <coughs> uh, here are a lot of records you can find lot of records so this is how we link <coughs> uh, make a main report and make it a sub report uh, <coughs> provided there should be a link item link field uh, in database may, maybe it, it is a primary key linked to reference key or you may have any linked for value uh, not provided it should be a constant in the database so if there is any link to value to between two table you can <coughs> make one report a sub report of the main of another report now see what happens if i <coughs> let's save this reports to np mst now what we do generate the data to save yes Now what happens if, if we delete the sub report? Suppose we delete or rename the sub report. It will not let you delete it. So let's close the report. Now we remove it and again open the main report. See, although we have renamed the sub report, that means what it means that the sub report is not now not linked with the main report. It is been embedded in the main report. Now, <coughs> see, when we edit this one, we get the sub report here. So it is here. Uh, so and it is not linked with the main uh, linked. It is not linked externally. See, we have been uh, renamed the in the MP underscore DTL to MP underscore DTL one, but uh, the report we have been linked is in MP underscore DTL dot PP RPT. So, so this is uh, how we have uh, created a sub report uh, in Crystal Report 8.5. I hope uh, you like this video. Uh, if you if you liked it, do share it in, in your in your working site and do subscribe to my channel, uh, which uh, that is ECBU channel 176 on YouTube. Uh, thank you very much.